Hey guys, welcome once again. Sri Nice and Molly here, bringing you another Guyanese recipe, another delicious recipe. Today we're going to be making no other than the popular Guyanese fish cakes. So everyone loves fish cakes out there. I know a lot of you will be trying this recipe. Please do try it. So for the fish cake, you need to have a fish like Bangamiri that's soft. Any fish similar to that would work for this here. And the rest of the ingredients we have here, we're going to be using two potatoes. So these ingredients on the left here is for the mixture for the fish, for the fish cake. Along with our, uh, we have two mangamiri there, that's fillet. We're going to be using two stems of scallions, two cloves of garlic, one viri viri pepper, one egg that's going to be mixed into with the potatoes and stuff like that, quarter of an onion, and the flour up there on the right, and the one egg is going to be used for coating and frying. Alright, so let's begin with this uh, fish cake recipe guys. Okay guys, so to begin with here, we've washed our fillets here. And what you want to do now is to steam this out with force. So we've brought some water to a boil here. We're going to put that in with a bit of salt. And then we're going to turn the stove off and let it steam in there for a bit. So in goes the salt, and we're gonna cover that. She's starting right to turn off the stove there. So you can just cover that and leave it for a bit. So while our fish is sitting in the water there, guys, we're gonna go work on some of the seasonings here and peel the potato and stuff. So we're gonna begin with the potatoes here for us because we have to put these to boil. So it's better you peel the potatoes first before you boil it. Then at the end you don't have to worry about it peeling. It's easier to peel now than after it's boiled. So our water is hot so we're gonna put the potatoes in there now to boil and add a bit of salt there too. Okay my friends so our potatoes boiling here and the fish now we're gonna take the fish out of the water now that we left in there all this time. Water is still hot there so we left this all the time in there and this looks like they're ready now. So after removing the fish there my friends, you want to pat them dry with a paper towel, which Molly is going to do here right now. And you can check for any bones at the end. Sometimes at the end of the fillets there you have some tiny bones, you can take those out if you see them. And as you see she's removing the skin there, that's coming off easily now. So that's it, so that's how the fish should be there now, flaky. So you now want to mash this here, like so now, and remove any bones that you may see there. There may still be some tiny ones in there. Okay my friends, so Molly has broken this up here with a fork, and when this fish is steamed properly, this is how we should break up like here. So that's perfect there now. So we're gonna go check on the potatoes, see if that's boiled. Okay, and these potatoes are ready, they're boiled. So we're gonna remove these now too as well. Okay. 
Okay guys, so what you want to do here first is mix your seasonings into the fish. Not mix everything together with the potatoes. You want to mix the seasonings into the fish first. Incorporate everything with the fish. And then you add the fish to the potatoes. Alright? So first Molly is going to add some black pepper there. And that's about a quarter teaspoon. How much you like. And that's the garlic and the pepper that we had crushed there in the mortar. The scallions and the onion. And now some salt. We're gonna mix that all in. So after mixing that here now, the fish, you're gonna make the fish into the potatoes here, the mashed potatoes. Okay, here goes. So after mixing those guys, Molly is now going to add the beet tang here. So after adding the eggs in there and mixing that in, it's time to make your cake soft now. So we put some oil here to heat, that's already hot. We have our egg here, so we're going to begin to fry here now. So you don't want your oil to be too hot, medium will be okay. So first in the egg batter there. Then the flour. Now we're gonna fry these two here first. This should be done in about three or four minutes. Now you wanna be gentle when you're flipping these. You don't want to break them. So that was just about a little over a minute. Molly turn these here, flip them. So these are okay, we're gonna add some more here now. So the first two is done here, they took about 4 minutes and as you can see they are looking scrumptious. Ok guys, so we finished frying all of these scrumptious fish cakes here. And this is what they look like. Don't they look good? So let's see Molly break into one of these. What's going on inside there? There we go. And that's it there guys. Okay guys, so this is our scrumptious fish cake, Guyanese fish cake recipe. And this fish cake you can have them by themselves with whatever sauce you like and 
it is also made specifically for dal and rice goes very well with that as well if you like this recipe my friends please give it a thumbs up please remember to subscribe if you haven't already please remember to click the bell on next to the subscribe button on the right you get notifications on your smart devices your smartphones and stuff like that also please remember to share this video and as always thanks for watching guys take care bye